Hello everybody and welcome to um, what is now known as Walking with Gobby. Right then, if you've been following on the other ones with the diabetes walks, you know I was talking about um, a path, which is, um, let's switch the camera around, which is that path that goes up there, which I was at the other end, top end. And that leads you here to the Elmden Nature Park. And as you can see, we're just here. If you walk all the way down that path, there you go. You come to the Coventry Road, which is that path all the way down there. And you've got paths that lead all over the place around here. So, for a change, we're not going to go down there. That's a walk for another day. And that will take you down to the Coventry Road and then we can get near the airport. For a change, a bit of camera forward. And just show you, this is what they call Elmden Park Nature Reserve. The big building you can see, it's a dark grey with a light grey top. That's the new Land Rover parts and distribution centre that was recently built. And uh, I haven't walked this path ever. And there's a reason when I was a kid that you could still walk down the path that shows it took you to Lowdeath, but oh, sorry, Lowdeath, to the Coventry Road. But this one is fairly new for me. I've not walked over this part of the park for a long time. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do that. You may just see as I chop hands. Just there you go, there's a plane taking off, and you should see in a minute as we come around the corner behind these trees in the distance as the airplane takes off that way. You should see looming into view any moment now in that gap of the trees you can see in the distance. You should see, and you will see, the air traffic control tower at Birmingham Airport. Just to give you an idea in the hotel there, Premier Inning. I think it's Premier Inn. Yeah, it is Premier Inn. So that's the airport. So as I said, I've not walked down this path. This is all new. I mean, I'd say new. It's probably been like this for the last 20 years. I've just never walked down here. So just for a change, I thought we'd just give it a walk down here as you join me on the end of the walk. Now, I have plans in the pipeline to do other walks. And to show you the local things around where I live. And then obviously if I go anywhere, I'll do a walking with there. I have literally no idea where this path's going to take me. Well, I've got a rough idea. I'm heading in that direction. So by any chance, or by any luck, it should take me where I need to go. But as I said, it could take me anywhere. I said this all used to be farmer's fields. I don't know whether it still is. It doesn't look like it. This all used to be a farmyard and farmland, so you never used to come over this way. So I'd be interested to see where these paths lead. So for the first time, you're actually probably on a walking journey with me, as I have no idea <laughs> where we're going to end up and where we're going. I mean, there's somebody coming the other way, probably walking a dog, which back. is fine and cool. We'll have a chat with the uh, dog owner there. So as I said, I have no idea. I think it might go around in a big loop. There is a sign coming up. Let's just flick to the front camera. So yeah, there's in the distance you can see. That's the uh, yeah, I said the distance. Distance one oh, mile. Fucking hell. That Time made me jump. nineteen minutes fifty two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh my god, that actually made me jump. <laughs> you're out here on your own. That noise caught me unawares. So I've done a mile already, which is good. So there's a distribution centre over there. And uh, we've got a sign here. It'd be interesting what the sign says. And what's this? Ah, huh. we have built a pond. So let's go and have a look at the pond. Might be a bit boggy down here. It looks like this is an overflow. I'll show you why in a minute. And uh, yeah, they've, uh, well, it's a little bit dried out, but they've yeah, built a nature pond. Look, that's very nice. I would imagine this is something to do with that building over there. And the reason I say this is overflow, as you can see on the ground, it's very uneven and wet. And just hidden here, Post 10 will be not very happy about this, is some culvert pipes that go up and over the path and spew out there. It looks like it floods out over here. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, so I'm presuming this is gonna go in a big loop. And we'll find out together. So, as I'm enjoying these walks more, 
and getting out and actually getting jump scared by my own fitness thing, which was quite funny. Actually scared the life out of me, made me jump and wondered who was talking to me. Ah, the madness. So in any case, not only will you get a chance to see these things as I'm walking along, which is pretty cool. Knowing the way the camera works on here, it's probably upside down and I'll have to turn the picture around and God knows what else. Because it's very funny, this camera, when I flip on the outside. So I think we'll come back to the face. Yes. Yeah, back to my ugly mug. So yeah, so while we're out on these walks, not only will we be discussing fitness and general life things, we can also discuss other stuff that's been happening in the world today, or this week or whatever. And uh, it seems we've had a very interesting situation occur in Peckham, in London. <clears throat> 170 mile away, which is fine by me. Um, you've probably seen it, if you've seen it all over, it's all over social media. Uh, and I've done a quick, short video, 60 seconds on it, just referring to the rather racist signs that have been stuck all over the poor shop. Um, so if you didn't know, give you the update of how it happened. A couple of days ago, a black lady went into a shop owned by Asian people. Not being racist, just stating the fact. And this is the fact that the police are using, everybody else is using. So, no racism there, although I'm sure somebody will accuse me of it. And she wanted, she bought some hair braids or something, and she wanted a refund. Now, the store operates, which you can understand for health and hygiene purposes, protocols, a no refund policy but they will give you store credit so they offered a store credit well apparently this wasn't acceptable not at all so she decided that the best way she could solve this solution would be to grab a load more hair products and attempt to leave the shop with them now she may try and bend it any which way she can but that's theft that's stealing so the shop owner decided that he was going to challenge her. Fair enough. You can't take those out of the shop. Now she proceeded then to assault him. You know the hand basket things? She twatted him a couple of times with that and punched him and screamed at him. So he now has decided that I need to control this situation because she's clearly violent. So he went to grab her. Unfortunately, he grabbed her by the throat. But to be fair, he didn't really have much of an option. This is the moment that you see on selected social media points and sites. And oh, well, this, you know, then she's screaming now. She wants the police called. She wants the police called because he's assaulting her, even though in reality she assaulted him to start with and was also stealing, which is interesting. So. He then decided, I'm not having anything to do with this, put his hands up, let go. Believe it or not, just sorry, just do this. Literally the other side of that tree line is Coventry Road. Just thought I'd put that in there. Any case, sorry to slip away. So any case, so she then decided that this was the perfect opportunity to hit him again several times before she left the shop. Now, it also turns out, surprisingly enough, that people have now found pictures of her where she's been stealing from other shops. So she's a serial thief. Now, be you black, be you white, be you Asian, be you whatever, stealing stuff from people's shops isn't cool. Hitting people who are trying to stop you from stealing from said shops also isn't cool. But of course, this is not how social media has seen it. This is not how Black Lives Matter has seen it. Even though, funnily enough, it's... Yeah, any case, we'll go into that in another one. And Antifa, the usually sad, silly white people who feel that the best way to solve things is to pretend that they're black, uh, have kicked up a fuss. And have basically demanded the shop shut. And they're now demanding because the area of Peckham that the shop's in is predominantly black that Asians should get out of their area that black people should only shop in black shops 
and these people need to leave because there are in one thing as you see the sign on my short is um they're parasites uh, parasites on their community but yeah you know community only works when it suits any case oh my god sorry dude there is a fucking kestrel just landed in the tree in front of me if i'm lucky and i get it i'll carry it. i'll stop and get that any case nature wow any case who would have thought i saw that any case i'm getting diverted but what you expect i'm on a walk in the middle of nature and it can be awesome this bloody path goes for a mile or so any case so they're basically and they don't see it, obviously because they don't but they see it as um their area which of course it's not. Yeah, it's great walking the dogs today. I mean, even in the UK, as you can tell, been raining and stuff. Not been, still warmer. Any case, I carry on. So they're now demanding that black people only shop in black shops, and Asian people should be got out of their area. Now the signs that are stuck all over the thing are very much akin to the same signs that were stuck over Jewish shops in Nazi Germany back in the. To the 30s, late 30s. It's not acceptable, really, is it? And if you'd been a white guy or white people had done that, man, your life wouldn't be worth living. And we all know this to be true. But that's where the next issue comes up, which is a good one. Apparently, it's white supremacy that caused this. That's right. Um, the reason that it all happened between a black lady and an Asian shopkeeper is because of the white man. And I mentioned this on Twitter, sorry, X, as it's called now. And uh, someone actually said, well, in reality, perhaps it's because of the white man egging them on, which will give us no flipping evidence of that whatsoever. So, Somehow, and it will always stun me and amaze me, and it's a bit confusing how an incident that had no white people involved in whatsoever is a white problem. We caused the problem somehow, and I don't get it. And the thing is, this is a perfect example of where diversity and inclusivity and, you know, all this that was started back in the 90s by Tony Blair and the Labour government, where this all went wrong. This grand social experiment had gone wrong because people won't integrate. People will naturally create their own enclaves, sadly, based on their race or their religion or both. And we'll always blame everybody else for issues that have got nothing to do with them. And then, just before I left, I was nice jet leaving, um, it's been announced that if you are stupid enough to vote Labour in, before you start, I ain't no Conservative either. I used to be, I'm going to admit, that I voted Conservative in the last general election. Pfft, not now. Not with a tin pot installed dictator in charge. It's got nothing to do with me. But, so I'm, I'm literally, I have no political party. So I'm going to slam everyone because they're all dickheads in my book. So if you're stupid enough to vote Labour in, he wants to Keir Starmer, the way to solve the boat problem, which is a, another subject for another video, um, will be to do a deal with the EU, basically ignoring Brexit, and um, we will accept 120,000 illegal Im uh, sorry, immigrants into our country and they'll stop the boats. Didn't know this lake was here. Little pond. Cool. Sorry, nature. Damn, you're good. Um, yeah. Now, if that doesn't explain why we're currently being flooded with illegal immigrants, because it's all part of the EU getting back at us for Brexit, and it clearly is. 
Uh, so a deal can be struck where we will have to take 120,000 immigrants a year into our country for, I don't know, reasons. I'm going to go over here, there's a bridge here. I don't know where it's going to lead me, but I'm going this way. Any case, I'm going to make a bridge. Oh, I have no idea where I am. It's full, isn't it? Um, oh, there's a mile marker. Which way? Uh, uh, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Um, this way. <laughs> We're going this way. Um, so, yeah. So, now that kind of puts into perspective, surely, the reason why... Yeah, we're not stopping the boats. It's all part about getting a deal with the EU. Good start, by the way. Found a path. Uh, this way. <laughs> ah, this is a fun walk. Um, yeah. See, so the thing is, I've said it before on other people's live streams and my own, and I'll keep saying it. We only, as a race, the human race, that is, have one real enemy. And that's the elite, those people in charge. And they're quite happy to keep us arguing amongst themselves. Ooh, apple trees. This no idea fun. where this goes either. Um, no idea where I'm going. Well, roughly, but it's ever so weird because every now and again there's stones in the floor. Like it's a made walkway. <sighs> Any case, so there you go. There's a dog bin up ahead, so that's a good sign. So it does make you wonder, doesn't it? You know, that these elites are creating these problems, creating these issues. So we're busy fighting ourselves and not the real enemy. But to have the way it is with what's going on in Peckham, people are stirring up hatred for no reason. Simple truth of the matter is, she tried to nick shit out of the guy's shop he didn't want it nicked. But now he and his family are hiding, petrified, frightened for their lives. And that's just not right, is it? Really? I know where I am now. That's good. I can go this way. We'll go out the park and come out onto the road. Because then I've figured out where I am now. Bit of an extra journey on this one. Had a good walk round. So there you go, that's the Peckham thing. Unbelievable, with Labour saying what they're saying. You'd have to be an idiot to vote for them. You really would. It's unbelievable. So, we have a situation that, I don't know, worrying. And this kind of stuff is coming on more and more. And it's getting more and more worrying. And it's putting us all in the dark times. Because you've got people demanding areas just be for them. See, my logic was, and my belief was, that we'd fought hard to get rid of segregation and, you know, accept everybody for who they are and what they are and to try and live in peace and harmony. And that, I guess, was the whole idea of the floodgates that Tony Blair opened that we're all going to live together in harmony and I think it's going to be wonderful. Unfortunately, this doesn't So yeah, that was the plan. But everybody warned them and said, look, this isn't going to work. You know that, you, you do know that it isn't going to work, that people aren't going to be like that. Because humans aren't like that, we're tribal. No matter how hard we try not to be, we are. We are a tribal race and therefore we will naturally gravitate to people of the same skin colour, same religion, same belief system. We've always done it and always will. And that's why it will always be a failure. In any case, we come to the top of a hill. And that down there is the park at the bottom. And then over the top you've got Birmingham and Yardley and I don't know whether you can see off in the distance a big smokestack. That's Toysley Incinerator. Some tower blocks in the distance in Birmingham city centre. You just make out a tower blocks in the distance. 
and uh, some building down there which was originally the old church hall and sadly is gone now because of well housing needs I guess yeah, and over there you might just make out the white building that's the swan area it's a swan yard Lee. there you go little bit of areas where we're going I'm surprised people haven't wondered why I'm talking holding my camera like this but you know what it's worth it everybody gets to see things and you get to see where I live roughly so there you go all good fun yep so that's my views on Peckham and the mess that it is and this unbelievable silliness and people just using as happens all the time nowadays everybody using something even if it's like that case where it was clearly someone's done to steal stuff people ambush it and use it for their own political agendas <sighs> it makes it worrying it really does because this massive I mean, you know you've got people standing outside with megaphones demanding this and demanding that and people saying things should be burnt and people should get killed and <sighs> all because of the skill and colour and then the best thing is, as I said, be, you know, halfway through the video. And then, make sure you get to blame the white guy. Even if he's not involved in any way, shape or form. Strange and dangerous times, people. It really is. And we really need to sort of tackle it and sort it out. Because it's just not right. We only have one enemy. And that's those in charge who are causing us to do this. And the agitators probably paid for by the elites to keep causing the trouble steering the shit you know we've got a here in the uk i'm sure everywhere else our crime rate is going up through the distance roof. two miles there you go. time 41 minutes 22 seconds about right that's not bad heading home any case now so you know i don't know what to say i mean people tell me to sure should not get upset and this that and the other but I worry. I got kids. I got grandkids. You've probably got kids. Probably got grandkids. Or oh, nephews and nieces. And this is the world we're bringing them into, where it really isn't good. It genuinely isn't good. Oh, I don't know. You know, it's like progress. I mean, I've lived around here most of my life. And this park, particularly, I've spent a lot of time walking around. Things have changed, as I said, as I crossed the river. That used to be a church hall, community hand centre. Not anymore. It's got to be knocked down for housing. It has been, it's been turned into housing. See, things like that, heart of the community, are being ripped out for progress. But is it progress? That's a big question. Is this for the advancement of us all? I don't know. And when you see things like Peckham and other things that have been going on in the world recently, it's worrying. It really is worrying. And we've got to stop trying to. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. So there you go. So I've been. I hope you sort of, I've been chatting as I do with my walking. You know, I'm going to end this. Yeah, don't forget, go and get yourself tested for anything, get yourself checked out. It's always worthwhile doing. Could save your life, could give you the kick up the arse you need to do what I'm doing, which is I'm walking, I'm exercising, I'm trying to eat right. It's never easy, it genuinely isn't. I know it isn't. But with all we've got, it's perhaps just all look out for each other, stop blaming each other for stupid shit. If someone robs something, moan at the robber, not the person trying to stop it. So, yeah, get tested. Think about looking after ourselves because it's all we got. Any case, coming to the end of my walk, thanks for being with me, thanks for enjoying and listening. Sort of walking alongside with me as he finishes his walk. 
I shall look forward to catching you in the next one. If you enjoyed this or any other video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And uh, with that, as house looms into view, I'm going to say goodbye and see you later.